Hello, my squishies. Welcome to Friday night. And I've completely lost it already. Um, we're just going to wait for people to log in because we do do this live. And then you guys are watching it back afterwards. Hello. So I'll wait for everyone. Give them a few minutes to log in and let me know that they can hear me because that's always a worry. But while that's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start ooh, focusing is what I'm going to try and do. There we go. Focus. I'm going to uh, give you guys a brief introduction to needle felting for those of you who have never needle felted before. So hopefully people will join us soon. I always get nervous until people start popping in because I've done it before where I've talked to myself for 10 minutes, realised nobody's watching. Oh, people are watching. I can see it. Sound good? Excellent. Right, let's get to it while everyone else is coming in. Uh, so in your kit, you should have everything you need to felt this picture, which I'll show you later. Um, but I'll walk you through what we've got in the kit just now. So you should have your felting mat. This is what we felt onto. It protects your surfaces, makes felting easier. And it's just generally good all round. We've also got our fabric. So this is pure Shetland wool. It's wool pre-felt. So it's fabric that would be felted, but is not quite fully felted, if that makes sense. So it's just before the felting stage. Hello. Um, so we're going to work onto this design, work our design onto this. Words in order today. <laughs> um, we've also got our needles. So these are, let's see if we can focus. Very sharp and stabby. This is a barbed end and I've got a hooked end at the other side. Now, the, um, please do not stab yourself with them. They are very painful. I like to keep my hand, especially when you're working flat, far away from where I'm stabbing. So I try and avoid stabbing myself. These needles can break. If they break, make sure you find all the bits and dispose of them safely to help them break less. Hello, people. People are coming in. Oh, um, so <laughs> if you're watching this after the fact, if you go down somewhere in the bottom, you'll see uh, replay live chat so you can see what everybody's saying to me and that I'm not just talking to myself because uh, sometimes I feel like I am talking to myself. <laughs> but you can see what everyone's saying in the comments as well. Um, yeah, so the needles. So yeah, please dispose of them carefully if you break any of them. To make them a little bit easier to use, some people like to use the needle felt tool, which is in the kit as well. So this just makes it easier to grip them because they are quite small. So to put these two together, you want to take the little plug. Oh, let's go up and in. There we go. Take that little plug out, she says. There we go. And you'll see there's a wee groove in the little plug that's come out. And you want to take your needle and pop it in the groove. So you've got the hook end. So this hook end there is over the thinner end. And that hook goes into the plug. I'll do that one more time. So you've got your wee plug in there. You want to pull that out. And you'll see you've got the fatter end and the thinner end. Lay the needle so that the thinner end has the hook on it and then pop that thinner end back in there. And while I remember, after the fact, so if you're watching it now, you obviously can't rewind me and da da da, but if you're watching this afterwards, fe please feel free to pause, rewind, put me down at a slower speed, anything to make it easier. And you can also, as my parents have, who's tech support there, hi mum, hi dad, um, <laughs> no, is that you can mute me so you do not have to listen to me. You can normally just get what I'm doing by just watching. So please feel free to mute my nonsense because I do talk a lot of nonsense. I get incredibly distracted. I'll jump about all over the place with what I'm talking about and I'm not going to apologise for it because I think I'm hilarious. Don't think anybody else agrees with me, <laughs> but I enjoy it and that's all that matters. And I also love needle felting, so that's also all that matters. And that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to talk random nonsense and needle felt. Something that I'm going to show you in a second. But we've got one last thing, two last things. 
before we are ready to needle felt. You've got your wonderful. So this is what we use to make all of the colours and to make the picture. This is called either tops or roving. So it's come off of a sheep. It's mostly, yeah, mostly Shetland we've got tonight. So it's come off of a sheep. It's been washed, dyed and brushed and that's it. So to work with this, what we're going to be doing is pulling little sections at a time. And I'm not focusing again. Come back. Focus. I wonder why it's not focusing today. I may have put something on the camera. Um, so <laughs> to work with this, you want to pull out just little bits. And you can see here, the bit I've pulled out there, that's the length of the wool of the hair, the fibre that was on the sheep. That's called the staple length, if you want to get geeky. So that's the staple length there. So if you were to try pulling out with your hands close together, you'd literally be pulling on the same hair and it wouldn't come apart. So you want to have your hands nice and far apart. Are we supposed to have some yellow? No. I've added that in to try something tonight. There should only be the two reds, I believe, and you'll see in a second why. I'm just I'm just here to I'm just here to confuse you. Don't look at the don't look at the thing. <laughs> Um, where was I? <laughs> oh yeah, so if and this is any twist in the tops, it's also not going to pull apart, even if you have your hands far apart, because this is how yarn is made, and it's a twist, holds it together, and there's like string as well, and rope, it's a twist that holds it together, so have your hands nice and far apart, make sure there's no twist, and then you can gently pull little sections away. And then the last and optional part is your dowel. So we can, there are multiple options for finishing your picture. I've just included one way that's nice and easy to do, which is the dowel method. And we're going to attach a dowel up to the top so that you can hang it off your wall. You can put it in a frame, you can stick it to things, you can do anything you like with it have it as a mat on your table. I don't know what you want to do with it, but we'll, I'll show you the dowel method. And I will remember this time, I forgot last week until halfway through and had to redo it, that little top bit. But that's lesson number one. The joy of felting is that you can undo most... Oh, am I still, am I still focusing in and out? Right. Let's see if I... Hopefully, I pressed the button, so hopefully that's helping. Let me know if I'm coming in and out still. If I hold my hand still, it might help. Um, ooh. Right, shout me if I'm still coming in and out. Fingers crossed. Anyway, yeah, so the nice thing about felting is, I told you I get distracted and ramble all over the place. I will get down to it though. Most of the stuff you can do, we can undo. Nothing is sort of permanent until near the end. But let's have a quick peek at what we're doing tonight. If you don't want to see, um, close your eyes now. But hopefully tonight, by the end of it, we are going to have under the sea jellyfishes. Uh, and these are lion's mane jellyfishes. So that's hopefully what we're going to come up with tonight. So let's get started, shall we? Yeah, let's just, uh, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to start off in this instance at the top and then work for the little sky and then I'm going to work from the bottom up. But I'm going to remember, so we're going to put this on. So for the sky, we're taking the sky blue and I want you to start grabbing little sections and fanning them out a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay it so it's the center point is roughly over your dowel at the top. And then you're going to fold it under. And I'm going to do that all the way along, folding it under so that it's going under the back 
and this is what's going to hold the dowel on. Now I've positioned my <laughs> very sillily, sillily, that's totally a word, positioned my camera or my microphone so I can't actually see the comments until they're a little bit further down and have to kind of move my head to see the comments. So if I'm ever pausing for a weird second, it's because I'm trying to read things. Okay, so I've laid this down so that it's half is there and half is on the back or roughly half. You want to make sure you've got it in there. And then what you're going to do is making sure that the fabric is being covered up by the felt. And we're just going to start stabbing. Stab, you, know, you always want to stab up and down because if you start bending it when you're stabbing it, that's when you're going to break a needle. Now, I, especially for bits like this, I'll just hold it, the needles in my hand because I am reckless. And I'll hold three at the same time to make it a little bit faster. I'm just going to stab, being careful not to stab, very careful not to stab the wood at the moment. But stab it all in like that. And then we're going to have a look and see what magic has happened. So if I pull this up gently, started to stab it through to the back, you can start seeing the little tufts coming through. And the more we do that, you can now see, I don't know, <laughs> this is a very bad angle, that the fibres over the top is holding this up and that's what's going to make it mount. And it's going to look really fun because it's like almost an invisible mount. So after, and I've laid all of these fibres up and down the way, I'm going to do the sky. So I'm going to do about a finger's width of sky from the from the top there. I'm just going to lay them horizontal, making sure you get right to the edge. So yeah, about, I've got quite short fingers, so about two and a half to three inches of sky. So let's say two and a half inches. Am I still in and out of focus? That is the question. Hopefully not. Hopefully that button has helped. I'm just going to stab all this in. So just now at this stage, we are just loosely stabbing and not worrying too much about it being perfect or finished because A, if we make a mistake, we can go back and change it because especially just now, you can just literally pull it up and B, we're going to worry about finishing it later. We want to make it look pretty just now. Not, not look pretty, wrong words. We want to block it out so that we see the whole thing together. And remember every so often, I haven't told you this yet, but remember to pull it off. And you can see there, all of the fibres are starting to lock in. Near the end, I'm going to go up here and do a really good stabbing along there to lock all of that in because it's a bit fluffy and stuff just now. But we'll worry about that later. Okay, that's the easiest part. We have sky. And we went, we laid them all horizontally. Now we're going to work on this. So I'm imagining that there's a camera just sitting in the water so that it can see up to the sky and it can also see underwater and it's a nice calm day. And the jellyfish are just standing there, chilling out, enjoying being jellyfish attempting to sting swimmers but we'll get into that later so now we're going to work on this under the sea and for most of it i'm going to be putting all of the fibers up and down because when you're just underwater like that you see all the rays of light filtering through so i'm going to start at the bottom just to be different because no one, people that have joined me before hi also I normally start at the top down, but because we're under the sea, we're doing it differently. I'm going to take this beautiful, I love this blue so much, this beautiful blue. And I'm going to start very loosely and reasonably thin. I don't want it to be too thick at this stage because we're going to be layering up 
our layer, layer layering up our layers <laughs> layering up uh, the colors there we go that's better layering up the colors because the more layers the more interest and the more texture you'll have so don't worry about you can see here it's a little bit fluffy don't worry about filling in all these gaps yet we'll get to that so I'm then gonna take the lighter middle middle blue let's just put all these three together so we've got sky blue in the center here we've got the bottom and then we've got this lovely turquoisey that's going to be the top oops I'm taking off the top layer of the ocean I'm going to just start trying to line it up with the sky so you don't need to be too precise filling in some gaps and putting it over now don't worry just now it's gonna look a mess you're gonna think this is horrendous and weird and how on earth is this gonna turn into a picture go with the process and again I'm gonna layer up some some blue and in a minute I'll start doing a little bit of stabbing but not too much just now because it's all about just making layers and getting colors just now there we go so I'm gonna lightly tack that's the, that's the word so at the moment so I don't know if, if you're familiar with sewing your tacking stitches are just sort of initial stitches that you would do to hold it all together so that you can make any adjustments and final size changes so at the moment I'm essentially doing just little tacking stitches although they're not stitches tacking stabs now when I get to this top bit I don't want any thing going over the sky so I'm just gonna fold the edge so that it goes sideways now don't worry we actually the top bit is we're going to define the edge of the top bit with different colors um I'll show you so the top bit to give it that little definition we'll go over it later so don't worry about that so we're slightly heavier on the bottom and you can bring that right up so I'm just gonna be doing a lot of layering for a while really because you'll notice that when you start stabbing them in the layers start to merge it's really nice if you want to you can also fold in half like if I have a big gap there so I'm gonna fold one in half and pop it down there because these wispy ends as well are what I just love felting it's, there's so much you can do the, the wool itself does most of the work I'm doing very little work here it's a little bit like knitting with um, self-striping yarn the yarn's doing the hard work I'm just doing a little bit of knitting and it looks like I've done so much more There we go, we're starting to get this nice, I keep wanting to start singing under the sea, um, but I A, cannot sing, so nobody should have to hear that, and B, it's probably copyright infringement. So feel free to have your own soundtrack in the background. Uh, so. The jellyfish that we're going to do, we're going to put in, I'm going to tell, this is story time now, I've settled in, this is story time, um, is, I think I actually might have told this story on another stream, but you're getting to hear it again, because there's lots of new people. Our lion's mane jellyfish. 
In fact, I've got multiple lines mean jellyfish stories. <laughs> um, and they're found in sort of the summer in the seas around Scotland and various other places. And they are, they have a sting to them. And it can be quite bad, but it can also just be quite mild, depending on multiple factors. So don't, don't get stung, basically, is moral of the story. But I was out swimming just in front of Fort William in the sea. And we thought there wasn't any jellyfish, me and my friend. And we sort of waded out to just over sort of belly length and we're about to start swimming. And then I pop my head under the water just to see what's going on. And I just look around and there is lion's manes everywhere. And I start like trying not to panic. Um, a little bit of panic was definitely setting in. Look at these lovely water beams sunbeams yeah so i sort of popped my head up from under the water and i shouted to my friend there's jellyfish everywhere we need to get out of here so we turn around and just see a sea of jellyfish from where we just come in between us and the shore like oops i don't know how they must have like the tide will have just brought them up at that point so we bolt our like running, screaming through the water, trying to avoid massive amounts of jellyfish. So I've done. <gasps> Hello, Robin. Never apologize for being late. Look after yourself. Lots of cups of tea, many blankets. Okay. I, I paused my story to say hello and also I'm doing some thin horizontal lines with the dark blue at the top and then I'm going to go over them so exactly over what I've just done as if I'm getting rid of it with lighter with the light blue don't worry this isn't the final one this is just to start building up the picture so it will look a bit silly just now But we're going to keep stabbing and I'm going to, before I get back into story time, I'm going to start putting some hip, hiccups, start putting some seaweed on the bottom. So I've got three colours of seaweed. I'm going to start with a base of the darkest and then get lighter. So you can put as much or as little seaweed as you like, but I'm just going to do some sort of, I want, so the aim watch my brain processing is to have the jellyfish like three in the center so we want to kind of frame them so you want to have seaweed more to the side and less in the middle or lower in the middle I'm just taking little Luffy and loose and still trying to aim sort of straight-ish up. There we go, so I've put a layer of, in fact all of that green, there we go. And then I may, mm, yes. mm, I reserve the right to take it away. <gasps> the, yeah, the blue, it's just, oh. Makes me very excited. Um, electric blankets are amazing. I have one that I currently basically live under when I'm at home. So I'm trying to place the lighter green. You can do it anywhere, but I'm sort of in the fronds, trying to, as if they're little highlights on the edge of the fronds fronds I think the name of seaweed is fronds and then I'm going to do the same with I think I've put too much on I may take this back and do a little bit less I reserve the right especially at this stage and this is why we're not stabbing it in and with this lighter one we want to do so much less 
this is just highlights where like you can imagine the sun is catching little bits There we go. So that's, I'm not stabbing that in at all just now because I think I may move it down a little bit. But this is the fun bit. This is where we're going to start. Before we put anything down, I've got fluff attacking me. We're going to block everything out and then move it. So depending on how you want your picture to be, you've got all the different options. So I think immediately I'm going to pull it down just a little bit. And I'm going to, at the end of this, leave all this bottom loose and flopping off the bottom. Can anybody hear me? Am I back now? How much did you miss? I think I'm back. I see the thing moving. <laughs> How much? Are you probably... <laughs> I think that's an okay. I can be heard again. Uh, I'm sure I said something really deep, insightful and meaningful while you weren't listening. And now I'm going to go back to my normal ramblings. <laughs> so I'm going to sketch out where and how big I want my jellies to be. So I think I like the sort of... So in the, in the previous one, let's show you, I did them like that. So I think again, maybe like that. And then their little tails, I'm just going to take the red, fold it in half estimate length and again this is uh, you may have missed this bit I'm just sketching out this isn't a final placement just to get sizes so yeah I'm quite happy with that sort of layout and the amount of seaweed I've got oh I hope I'm still being heard Fingers crossed. We'll find out if I get... Because uh... my mic did fall out. Apparently my cable was a bit wobbly. This is why I like doing them live. Because if I had done it and it wasn't live, I would have done the whole rest of the hour. Also, no, I like doing them live because I like you guys in the comments. This is why I like doing them live. But could you imagine if I'd done this whole hour and nobody was online and... I had no audio. Although I am thinking about re-uploading all of my videos sped up and with no audio. So it's just the felting and you can just watch the felting go by. There we go. So we've got the grass in. Now don't touch the jellyfish yet because we're going to Exactly, then nobody, <laughs> then my parents would not mute me. <laughs> I 
I know. I was telling this story again to somebody today and they were laughing quite hard. And I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So, let's... This is a scary bit. Oh, it's not scary. You'll be fine. We'll be wonderful. But let's put some jellyfish in just so that it's all there. And then we'll go back and we'll do little details and we'll fiddle and play. Because just now we're still at the sketching out stage. But, I mean, I kind of like it just like that. I don't... But no, the jellyfish are awesome. I'll get back. I'll get back to the story in a minute. But just now I need to do some some serious explainy talking <laughs> as I'm putting the jellyfish in. In fact, I want to move all you. Let's see. There you go. You can see a jellyfish there. So the jellyfish, they're, the top of their heads um, are see-through. And then the lion's mane is named after the lion's mane because it's got this amazing orangey red tentacled Because my stories are the, the most important, I can't even say it with a straight face, are of course the most important part of the film. <gasps> no. Um, sorry. Ser I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing serious time just now. <laughs> the jellyfish, the light, the mane is all the tentacles and that's the stingy bit. That's the bad bit. But it looks beautiful. It's this orangey red. And you can, their tentacles go right up and are joined like at the top of the head. There's definitely a technical name for like the top of a jellyfish. Um, so you can see them through this clear see-through top head they have. Head is not the right word. So we've got to try and replicate that. If you want to. If you want to do a different jellyfish, you can do an entirely different jellyfish. You could have it all white. If you've got other felting colours, if you want a pink jellyfish, a blue jellyfish please feel free these are your jellyfish but I'm doing the lion's mane one for this so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to lay down a little bit of the body and this is where I scared you a little bit earlier Morgan it, I'm traditionally it should just have the red and orange but I was I took these so that I could have a little play and see about adding different colors so if you have more in your stash colours and you want to put in oranges and things like I might be about to do, maybe, I'm not sure yet, feel free to do that. So to do the tentacles, I've taken a little bit, just a little staple, and I'm folding it in half. So we've got tentacles at one end and a little head end at the other end. So I'm going to pop that where I want my jelly to go and at the moment I'm just going to do a couple of light stabs at the top and leave the bottom loose. I'm then going to take another colour, another say an orange, and do the same again. So folding it half and layering. So just now we are doing our layering. And because the jelly, the lion's mane's Oh, it kind of is. This is my book. <laughs> the lion's manes are known for getting massive and having just this dense web of... You should, if you ever... Thanks, Mum. I knew you were useful. Well, I always knew you were useful. But I knew if I pointedly asked, you might find the information for me. Um, the bell of the jellyfish is the head. So we're doing, the bell is see-through. Um, so, right, no, back to topic. Getting distracted. <laughs> yeah, so if you ever Google lion's mane jellyfish, oh my God, they get massive. And there's just like this massive trail of orangey ready mane behind them. There is white in it as well. So I am going to take some of the white and this is a little bit shorter staple length. So I'm just going to add that trailing in as well. But I don't want the white to stay at the top. I definitely want to layer up above it. 
So just now we're doing the evil stingy bits. I'm just layering up the different oranges and reds. I think I'm definitely going to finish with red on the top. This is the darkest red. I call it train red because it's uh, from the... We did it in, in the Jacobite train. So we've got our jellyfish trail stingers now we need to give him his bell as i have just learned you'd think i would do research before i started this but it's more fun if we all learn together <laughs> thanks mom now we're basically outlining it so i'm going to take a little bit of the white fluffy stuff and lay it about a nail's length down and have it coming just over the edge on either side of its inter I like I you see just like that would be in a, you can make your jellyfish just however you want to I'm going to continue with this one but I reserve the right to change my mind and I'm taking another bit joining up the bottom there and just going around Now remember there is no right and no wrong shape because they literally are masses of jelly. Mom, don't say that. Oh god. <laughs> really? To eat or for fun? Um, so mum's just put in the comments if you're not reading the live comments that you can buy salted jellyfish bells and dried ones too I just imagine they're gonna be like now I know when you eat nettles if you boil them first it's fine they're not stingy because when I was to get to the end of my story in a minute jellyfish stings are or at least when I was stung by lion's mane it was like a bad nettle sting for the whole evening but I'm imagining eating a jellyfish and your whole mouth is being stung no I'm sure they're a delicacy and very tasty, but I just, it's the same as when I was eating nettles. If you boil them first, they don't sting, but I still, as I was eating it, I was like, imagine them getting stung. Anyway, <laughs> back, to, back to the jellyfish. So I've done the outside and you don't want this to be a totally like solid line. You can see there's like there, I've got a little thin bit. It's not a solid shape. You can like pull little white bits in a little bit and you want a little bit of white to go up over the join just so it's got that slight translucent i know there's no sting in the head from that movie uh finding nemo but still there we go. So we have jellyfish number one. He's still... I did not think about that when I was in pain all evening from the jellyfish thing. I will next time. In fact, there's two times, is it three times, two times or three times now I've had my ankle be stung by jellyfish. Would have I should have I should have just googled it to be honest but I didn't I just sat there in pain for the evening <laughs> right I'm going to do another one this middle one I think is going to be a little bit smaller and tight smaller and longer so I'm going to add some length to him or her or the jelly how do jellyfish Reproduce. I'm. I'm not going to ask this question too loud. Let's, let's just leave them, leave that hanging there. So if you want it to be a little bit longer, you can fold it not quite in the middle. So I've got my fold just at the end, and it'll give me a little bit of a longer tail. And 
I'm just going to layer up. So I haven't asked how any... Is anybody actually felting along with me tonight? Or <laughs> how is it going? Tell me how your jellyfish are turning out. I, f I fear everyone's just here to, <laughs> to laugh at my silliness. <laughs> the fear is real. Um, yes. So to get to retreat back, rewind to the jellyfish things. Uh, we managed screaming and all the way out to the to get back, sort of avoiding the major groups of jellyfish. But the thing about the lion's mane is they have really long invis like not invisible but clear tentacles that can stretch for a long distance. I'm not going to try and put a number on it, but it's considerable. And so I did end up getting stung. And like you don't notice it too much, or I didn't notice it too much at the time. It kind of builds up slowly over the evening. Then the next time I was out paddle boarding and swimming on Sky uh, or near Sky, and there was just this one massive. Ah, oh, Puppy's sleeping! Excellent. How is Puppy? I'm waiting for a reply, but I, I know that the delay, so it'll take a minute to come through. So I don't know why I'm excitedly waiting. Um, yeah, I was like paddleboarding and swimming on Sky, and there was just one massive one that we kind of just like kept an eye on. <laughs> just occasionally would take the, the paddle and like push it in a different direction, but it would eventually like just, fl I'm doing little movements, float back. Um, so somebody was always on jellyfish watch. I don't think I was stung. I don't think I remember being stung that time. But definitely another time on Sky. There was loads of them and we were paddle boarding again. And yep. Me and somebody else got stung this time. So I've layered up my oranges and whites and oranges. Don't worry, you can go back and add in more or take away some after the fact. Oh, goldfish would be epic. Yes, do goldfish or seals. I was thinking about doing seals. That would be incredibly cute. I know this, <laughs> despite being stung multiple times and not being able to go in the water when jellyfish are there, I still think they're really cute. So I'm doing them. But yes, I've. you can put whatever you want into your picture. So seals would be awesome. Ooh, koi fish would be nice. Oh, Fletcher. Such a cute... His picture was so cute. This is the dog, not the jellyfish. So the out... You can see in this one, I've not done as much of an outline. And it is quite noticeable. So I'm going to just build up the outline a little bit more. just to make sure it gives it that little bit of depth. Ooh! Oh, I want to do a starfish now. Okay, right, let's not get too distracted. What time? We've still got time. I'm going to do my last jellyfish and then I'm going to play. But seals would be epic. Starfish, yes. So let's do I'm trying to keep the tentacles all going in the same direction imagining that the current is because they don't they can bloop and Katie I'm so sorry if this all this jellyfish talk is freaking you out <laughs> um, because they can kind of bloop so they but mostly I think I want to say they are where the current takes them is where they go. Oh, no, some white. Oh, 
Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, seahorses. I have no idea how you would do that. Yes, I do. Maybe I do. Seahorses would also be cute. Now I kind of need to do an underwater theme with lots of different underwater ones. Oh no. I'm blaming you guys for this. Now, uh, for those of you who have not joined me before, do not worry if it still looks incredibly messy just now and not like it what, what it's supposed to look like. We're still at the blocking in stage. It'll look messy while you're blocking in. As soon as we start tidying it up, that's when it's all going to come together. And the tidying up, we're not necessarily going to get it finished tonight. Because um, what I always recommend is that we block it all in tonight, get it all down, get it all there, and then stop for the evening. And come back in a couple of days, or tomorrow, whenever I have fur in my mouth. Uh, a couple of days or tomorrow with fresh eyes and then spend a good sort of half an hour to an hour of just <laughs> yes uh, just stabbing all over and putting any finishing touches onto it because if you've been staring at it for all evening your eyes are going to get tired and you're not necessarily going to be able to see as your, your eyes just get tired of it and you can't it's, I know my words are stopping because I'm trying to do a, a shape. Um, so it's really good to come back with fresh eyes. Oh, what I also like to do is I always send a picture. Because if you take a picture of it or hold it up at a different angle, you'll also get a different view on it as well. So when I'm doing it here, not only am I looking at it straight down, but I'm checking all the time in the viewfinder or the, well it's the screen on my computer which is showing me a straight down view so it's giving me a fresh perspective every few minutes or so oh pardon me there we go third jelly is complete don't they look so cute I love the ah so cute but yes so come back <laughs> oh, what else are we talking about come back in a few days and just stab all over give it a good stabbing um i put up so i've got a facebook group for this for these felt alongs and last week i put up uh the one we did last month just at the end of the session i photographed it and then after having played with it for about an hour Half an hour to an hour, I can't remember how long I played with it. And you can see there's a marked difference from just going, like I'm about to do just now, just stab, 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 stabbing all over. And you'll see it all just starts to come together. It stops being the fluffy and starts being more of a, a sort of formed picture. So everything's blocked in. We're going to start putting in. I'm really excited to do a, little things in the bottom now but I'm not going to do it yet I've got to do one final bit first so I'm going to start putting in like little bits of detail so if you've got some of this white stuff left I like putting little wisps in for the clouds so we're not going too heavy on the cloud or the, the sky detail because I don't want to distract from the water I want the sky just to be kind of neutral but you can pop in a little bit of the white and then go over and you see I'm stabbing quite close to the wood now and the more I stab up here this is getting tighter the tighter over the <laughs> it's now that point in the session well, my words are just giving up halfway through my brain. It's just going, you were thinking of a word and now it's it's gone. It's not coming back. Dowel. And if you want to add a little bit more, you can if you've missed bits. You also don't have to do it all the way across. I know it's a bit late now to tell you. You could do it just in a 
make a few sections. Let's have a good wee stab over. Am I still in focus? I'm going to work on... I'm going to work my way down again. Because I like working down. So I'm going to add some more things here. So I'm going to take some of the white and just very lightly put a line across just above where the water meets the sky. Now this doesn't need to be a solid line, it doesn't want to be a solid line. Have gaps, have thinner bits and thicker bits, but I just want this wee line to go mostly across and that's and just above it. So therefore that's nope. So that just gives there's a word for it I cannot think what that word is a horizon I know it's not a horizon line but it gives a little bit of perspective with the slightly bigger clouds up there and then the smaller ones just across the water and then again I'm going to take the two my two water blues I'm going to start doing some layering of those two as in the thin line just before, just below even, the line we did with the white and layer that up. just thinking tell and concentrating luckily you can't see it but I have my tongue sticking out the side of my mouth going uh, concentrate concentrate we don't well it's up to you actually how harsh or how soft you want the edge to be so you can pull a few sort of going down and mess it up a little bit and give it a sort of slightly wavy effect. Just want to make sure there isn't... Now this is going to sound strange. Want to make sure there isn't a solid line. You want it to slightly... Da dapple, that's the word. We want it to be dappled. But still definitely there. So this is just... Playing, and I'm letting it get a little bit scrunched up because that adds to it. Oh, remind me, somebody who's paying attention, which is not me, to talk about finishing the sides before I go. I'm semi-tempted actually to do what I've done before, finish this off within the hour that I like to try and do but I'm going to stay on the stream a little bit longer and try and put different sea creatures in and I reserve the right for it to go horrendously wrong and for them not to work because I'm doing it live without even I might have to google what different sea creatures look like there we go that's looking nice and love layering so much I'm going to even put a couple more up and downy ones I might no I'm not I'm letting the horizontal ones go a little bit further because that top sort of layer of the water there will be disturbances and things little eddies and currents cool I think we're almost there to be honest everything's in it's just going to be stab stab stabbing all over and playing a little bit with the colours but the edging so let's quickly talk about the edging before I start 
making seeds, uh, jellyfishes and things. So I'm going to leave the bottom loose because I think that's just lovely. You don't have to. You're so you. There's a couple of different options with edging these. Let's get it actually in the center of the picture. Um, you can literally take scissors and chop, 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 and just make it all nice and neat and the right sizes if you want that neat finish. Another option is if you're like me and you want just craziness, is just leave it as it is, and just let the fluff be everywhere, and just embrace the chaos or the middle ground so the happy let's pull you up so when you're pulling it off at this stage remember and pull it off fairly regularly it'll distort a little bit and you can just re restart it <laughs> reshape it and it should it's quite flexible at this stage but once you've stabbed and stabbed all over that's when it all locks together but the other option is to take all your edges and just neatly turn them under and then stab them in. So always stab from the front to the back. But all those, you can see those bits I've missed, I'll fill them in in a minute. All those little bits that you're turning under and going in are still getting locked in. And you can do that to the bottom as well if you want to, if you're a rebel. You can just fold it under and stab, 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 and then that'll... Oh, actually, I quite like that. I'll, I'll decide later on whether I want to leave them loose and fluffy or stab them in. But in theory, that's a mostly... Look at it! Look at those little jellies! They're so cute. I'm sorry. I know you don't like them, Katie. I'm so sorry. Um, the... That is a finished picture for this evening. Come back in a day or two and just give it a good stab all over. And you'll see it because like we've barely touched this grass at the bottom. It's really loosely held on. But if you give it a good, like a really good, you'll see the difference. If you go over it, just kind of boop, 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 boop. In fact, have I got, I've got last week's one, last week, last month's one. And you can see the difference here as to how sort of solid it is, how it doesn't move, it doesn't shift, whereas this one does. So that is, congratulations, my squishies. We have jellies. I'm going to stay on. Normally I would sign off and say goodbye, but I'm going to stay on and we're going to play. We're going to see, I can't see what we can do. Right. Uh, have I missed any? So, starfish. Let's just take some orange. How do we do? <laughs> How do we do a star? <laughs> Two triangles. No, with a bit in the middle. I was see. This is this is where the even more nonsense happens. Doing a triangle. I mean, starfish aren't, they come in all different shapes and starriness, don't they? This is the silent concentration part of it. I always wondered whether I should do like a live stream of me working out the designs in advance and if anybody would be interested in that but then I'm like no it's just going to be a lot of me sitting quietly concentrating really hard failing multiple times I think that might be a starfish. So I just bent it round. Oh, now you're gonna have to now I have to describe what I just did. I took like a long skinny bit. 
no, my demeanour has completely changed now. I'm not relaxed anymore. And just went in and out, trying to make his little leggies. Just moving the and then grabbed another bit to make the last leggy and fill in the middle. Now that one's more of a blob than a starfish. <laughs> yeah, art class at high school, we had, I mean, she was a brilliant teacher, but we had silence for the whole hour and we'd all just silently sit there drawing. I mean, don't get me wrong, I adored that. I'm just very happy just silently drawing for an hour every day. Now, starfish can lose legs, I believe, and they can regrow them, I want to say, but they don't necessarily regrow looking entirely like the original limb. Like, you can always kind of tell it's a regrown limb. So if you're a starfish, I'm just making, I'm not making this up, but I'm justifying the fact that I have wonky starfish. I actually think I might leave them in there because they're really cute. <laughs> Okay, we've done starfish. What was the next? It was seahorses. Let's try a seahorse. So a backwards S with tiny face and eyes. I think if I was going to do a proper seahorse, I'd want it to be the full size of the picture because they're quite detailed. And actually these jellyfish can be small. So my scale might not be might not be accurate. Wait, no, I do need to Google. Wait, don't, nobody look. I'm just quietly Googling what a seahorse looks like. Come on, Google. How do you spell seahorse? Also, don't unplug. Sea house? Nope, sea horse. Hopefully I've not muted myself. No, I'm still talking. Excellent. Okay, we have pictures of seahorses. Oh, they're so cute. I'm now just getting distracted and looking at seahorses. So they're like an S shape, but with a, like a pointy nose. So I'm going to take a slightly bulbous there going to go bulbous and then up then round and down and they kind of curl their tails around the seaweed it's really cute and they've got little they've got bigger bellies So his tail, his, her, hmm, whichever you want, is going to go round this bit of seaweed. So I'm going to push it up and then have a little, in fact, no, it's going to go around this bit of seaweed the other way. So I'm going to stop it there. And then kind of have it pick up going round there. Now I know this looks wonky. It's going to look wonky for a minute. Oh, I think Sea Dragon is a far superior name. Yes. Let's fill in. He needs a little face. That's what's missing up there. So he needs a little bit more 
in there. His tail might be too short. But yeah. Okay, so we need a little bit of shadowing. I'm gonna go because this is not part of the kit anymore. This is just me going off piste. Uh, <laughs> gonna take a little bit of brown or yellow from my box of joy. Wait. No. no. Do I just want to? No. Let's go for the red actually. It's still in the kit. Let's keep it in the kit. Gonna highlight his little underneathy bits with a little bit of red. they've got all different colours and some have stripes and really fun patterns all over them. I think his leg needs to go down a little bit. That's better. And he needs an eye. Now I don't have an eye colour in the kit. But those of you guys that have joined me before will have other colours and you'll have a tiny bit of black. So let's well, you, yeah, you can see their eyes. Their eyes are remarkably far forward. So Katie, I hope this is being helpful because I'm having loads of fun now. <laughs> Let's pop in a wee eye there. And then give him some little definitions. Again, I think I'm going to take the little bit of the dark black just under there. Under the bottom of his tail. Maybe not. I'll figure that out in a minute. <laughs> Doodles! We're, we're basically doodling. He needs little wings because they have little wings. And they have a line taking that darker orange. Oh, there we go! On his head. Because horses have manes, so therefore seahorse. We could definitely go into more detail, but that's looking pretty seahorsey to me. Maybe I will do a live just stand, making it up as I go along sometime, because this is quite fun. Um. So I want to have a little bit of definition question. Mm, yes, but a little bit less. There we go, seahorse. Tick. I think we have seahorse. Let's make his bottom of his tail a little bit more obvious. Oh, no, you need a definite. You can make his tail a little bit longer if you like. I think I am actually going to make it a little bit longer. Or you can twist it around a couple of times. I've just not planned well and...
yeah so i might i definitely i might this is quite fun there we go look at this look at this little guy oh yes we have a seahorse or a sea snake or a sea dragon or a sea all of the things it's wonky and i love him There we go. Now definitely if you're doing it bigger and in the centre, you we could get so much detail in. So I'm kinda tempted to do a seahorse in the future now. Now that I know I can do it. So we've done tiny stars, we've done seahorse. Uh let's What time are we at? We're only ten minutes past the hour. And I've got nothing to do this evening. Except her eat pizza and do crafts <laughs> should we try some kind of i mean we could do like your standard where does the token sheep go oh <gasps> we need a water sheep is there a thing right quick somebody google is there a water sheep <laughs> i mean we could <laughs> the jellyfish are water sheep You see, if I do the if I do the design process with you guys watching, nonsense will ensue. <laughs> Can we put like a wee island and this little sheep? <gasps> put a raft and oh, I am getting nonsense now. I might have to delete the second half of this. <laughs> put a little raft with a sheep floating on it. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna do I was gonna do a goldfish, because we've got the gold here. But like do a proper go like the goldfish snacks. <laughs> Nonsense ensues. Sorry, that was probably very loud. Do like a proper the goldfish snack shape where it is just the round body. And then big fluffy tail so you can definitely make yours bigger this is just going to be like under the sea and again leaving the tail fluff so I'm folding it in half and only stabbing in the center point at the base of his body and then just letting it fluff out you get the goldfish but he needs little wings as well a clown fit. oh my god this is <laughs> oh no hopefully you can still hear me but you won't be able to see anything anymore because my camera has just run out of battery there we go so i'm afraid we're gonna have to call it a night and i was having loads of fun doing that so this isn't going to, well actually let's not call it, call it a night, let's just call this a pause and we're going to do felting doodles. <laughs> we're going to do felting doodle live stream where there's no plan and it's going to be fun. <laughs> right, so hopefully Katie you got some other creatures in and anybody else that is still with me at this point thank you so much i appreciate it please give this a like and <laughs> i know you can't see me anymore uh, please give this a like subscribe pop onto the facebook group where we continue and you can show us all your pictures of what you've done but i'm going to go for the night and watch out for felting nonsense if not before the next friday first the next first friday of next month those words right i'm running away i'm going <laughs> thank you my squishies <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs>